Okay. Okay, and then we also had um, professional net worth, and um, I kind of talked about how, like, our um, we rated this kind of higher than we rated a lot of the other things because um, a lot of our companies are just like there's a lot of positive reinforcement and a lot of trust and love. But um, I kind of had it um, between the second and third column because as much as I'd love to think that my company was all about trusting and love each other. Um, I know that with like upper management, um, ironically, the like all the vice presidents, um, a couple of them were really heavily involved with recruitment, so they'd have all these new PEs and um, kind of the younger people in the company, and they love them and they kind of um, kind of talk a lot about them and kind of say that they were really outgoing. And um, so when they finally got out of the job site, um, the PMs, like the older PMs, weren't as convinced. So there was some trust issues there um, with kind of throwing the um, PEs or even the um, senior PEs into the frying pan or like into the fire and making sure that they picked up quickly. Um, so that kind of, from, from my perspective, leaned it more towards um, the second column and not going into the first column because like the establishing or like fabricated resumes, I don't think we'll ever see that in the United States. Um, well, maybe, I mean, maybe there are some comments out there, but like I've at least not ever seen like fabricated um, certifications and people are pretty real when they talk about and they're because they're pretty proud of it um, so yeah but this is like super important because it goes back to what we talk about with like the performance excellence and like the trust and love and motivation um, so yeah okay thank you all right let's go to this team over here talking about first control and we said that most of our companies fell in uh, the number two range in between columns two and three because um, our companies did have a good control in our projects and we thought that the control we had gave us a lot of flexibility with our owners, architects, and laborers. Um, we also talked about marketing a basis of selection. Um, two of us worked for small companies, and we said that uh, our companies fell more in the third column because um, with a smaller company, relationships are huge, and relationships with your owners are huge. So in my personal experience, um, we've won a lot of projects just because owners wanted us. They didn't want anyone else, and that's because we are a small company, and we build relationships with our owners. Um, and then on the other end of things, um, Luke worked for a bigger company and um, relationships weren't as strong with the owners, but because they did have a strong name, they won projects. So it's just different ways of marketing yourself. Okay. You see the, uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one. You see the, the benefit of looking at the next stage as a possible way to differentiate yourselves from the competition. You're going to find probably most of the people are in that second stage. That's where the industry typically lies. But there is opportunity there, and we have seen other industries, the leaders, the ones that begin to dominate their industry, have adopted these advanced principles in how they do these things. Okay? So let's go on back to here. So we have vision, time and material management, and productivity. For vision, uh, we kind of agreed on a two because we've had different experiences. We've had the very much, uh, you know, everyone on their own, no one's going to win here, just going to survive. Um, but we also had the, the collective mutual benefit uh, approach from different managers. Uh, for time and material management, we were kind of disagreed among the four of us between one and two. Um, most of us have definitely had the CPM schedules, you know, materials, procurement, all that stuff. Um, some of us had um, a few integrated, you know, organizational things. Um, critical chain schedules was something I never um, dealt with exclusively. A few other guys had um, had, had touch on that. And uh, for productivity, we all kind of agreed on a one. We never really, we didn't really understand the sustained improvement towards zero goals comment. Um, so therefore, we agreed that we never really experienced it. Um, we all agreed that our Companies try to look good for comp like against the competition. You know, if it was a new client, especially for me, I had a, comp I had a project with Google, and they were definitely trying to lose money to make money on the first job in order to get future jobs. You know, they were going above and beyond what you know their contract said to try to you know look good for the owner and get 
keeps your job and make more money. So, yeah, very good. Okay, I'll uh, I'll put something online for you on what zero goals are. Okay. To understand what those are. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, let's go on over here. We had uh, cooperation, benefit sharing, and motive. Uh, we had 2.5 pretty much for all of those uh, for cooperation. Just because uh, people are focused on the tribe mentality and their company's benefit, and they're trying to make uh, their you know everyone they're working with, other departments and the communities uh, happy, but they're not necessarily working together all the time. Benefit sharing. Uh, obviously, you know they're they're not just doing the minimum cooperation. They're doing their due diligence to make sure everyone can do their job, uh, complete the contract, but also uh, you know reap the benefits. Obviously, you see uh, uh, there's a split between the owner and the contractor if you get uh, under under budget or under the contracted value. Uh, so everyone everyone wins in that regard. And then motive: uh, the better we get, uh, the more we all benefit. Uh, kind of. That's, that's very similar to benefit sharing, in our opinion. Uh, you know, just make sure you're achieving what you can and, uh, you know, be trying to be the contractor of choice. And every, everyone, if everyone's happy, then, you know, uh, people will continue to get more work and uh, get quality products. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's go back to... Very good. Yes. Um, so... Topics we discussed uh, were the next three, leadership, policies, and communications. Uh, with terms of leadership, we kind of had an even distribution of experiences, kind of like ones, twos, and threes. Um, we've had like some experience with pretty kind of dictator-like um, leaders or management that kind of just like what I say goes, like you don't really have a say in it or anything. We've had experience with uh, um, leaders and management that were like kind of aloof, but they, mean, they were good at their job, so and they, and they made sure we, you, you get what you needed to get done, but they, were, they, they weren't really in your court. And then uh, we did have a bunch of threes as well um, kind of from our group that were people that are checking in on you kind of every day, seeing how your tasks are going, that kind of deal. Um, so for the policies, we kind of, we was more towards the one, kind of one and a half side here. Uh, we, we thought this was pretty common throughout the whole construction industry. Kind of, I mean, we're all doing the same job, but everyone's there to make money for their own company. Uh, I think that's, especially threes in this case, is really not very common. And, where we work, like creative behavior to reduce total cost and improve value, like everyone working together for that. We didn't really see any of that um, in our uh, experience and stuff. Kind of that's just the whole feel of the uh, the industry. And then uh, communications wise, uh, we um, we were leaning towards kind of two and a half there, more towards a three um, with our experiences and stuff. Kind of that's yeah, that's that's, that's what we feel. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go back to the back. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, Business environment, safety focus, and safety organizational net. So for business environment, we were in between two and three. That's because some of the companies we were for were still kind of like where you just make small improvements over time to make the company better. And then some companies were leaning more towards the lean type of management. And then safety, we are at three because most modern construction companies focus heavily on safety and like no injuries on the total project and try to make the injuries not happen at all. Okay, very good. Taking that attitude, and, and I, I think that much of what we do in safety and what we've achieved in safety, we've made some monumental improvements. Right now, the industry is not improving along the safety lines as it has in the past. We've sort of hit a plateau, even in many areas, we're, de we're declining in the level of safety. My contention is that we can do the same thing with productivity improvement and other aspects that we did with safety, and we can improve safety if we focus on the marriage between all of them. Quality, productivity, time, schedule, cost, and safety simultaneously improved is going to improve safety as well. Okay, let's go to the last group here. All right, so for monitoring. Monitoring culture, restricting reporting of unsafe conditions. Uh, we said a three because in our experience, pretty much all our companies are pretty good at dealing with safety stuff. But then, uh, these days, people know it's a really important issue, and so they stress it a lot. Um, so next one is performance fitness. There's really no explanation here, so we're actually really sure what that meant. Okay. Um, 
That that really is can you make and keep commitments? Okay. So I'd say we're probably pretty good at that, probably like three of them. Um, and then sustain rate of improvement, we also said three because it's really competitive out there and we're always looking for ways to improve. We weren't also sure if that meant within the company, but either way, within the company, we're always looking on improve things, and as a company within business, they're always trying to get more customers and expand our business, so uh, we said three for that. Okay. All right, very good. Well, I appreciate your time and effort. Give some serious thought to maybe where you can make a difference here with these kinds of tools.